Good evening and welcome to historic Wade Stadium here in Duluth, Minnesota for the matchup between the Wilmer Stingers and the Duluth Huskies. I'm Max Stapleton, joined alongside Kyle Morrison for this great matchup today. And Kyle, the first two games of the season so far for the Huskies, they were not great offensively, but ever since they got back home, it's been fun to watch. It has indeed. In the first game of the series against the Mud Puppies on Wednesday, the home opener, they scored 17 runs, which was really highlighted by a grand slam from Noah Marcello, which came as a surprise to all of us because the Huskies only hit two home runs total in this ballpark last year. They're still struggling in some situational hitting, though. Yesterday, they did not cash in on their free runners in the 11th or the 12th inning, and they're only hitting 180 of the runners in scoring position as a team right now, so they're definitely going to have to improve that going forward if they want to keep on winning games. Yeah, if you're a Huskies fan right now, you're looking for someone to blame for the 1-3 and three start. You can't look at the starting pitching. You can't. Jake Hamilton, Pat Miner, Connor Oregon, the last three starters for the Huskies over the last three days, all put in quality starts. They all went five-plus innings and gave up three or less earned runs. The starting pitching has been good, and they're going to hope to try to continue that tonight. All right, let's transition to some of the negatives a little bit. Jackson Edwards out of the pen yesterday, Steen Lane as well. Not their greatest appearances of the season. Yeah, Jackson Edwards really struggled. He's a local kid. A lot of people in this community rooting for him. Wonder if he was nervous. He went out there and only pitched two-thirds of an inning and walked five, ultimately walked in two runners for the Mud Puppies, which was really key in a one-run game. Steen Lane, a little bit of a different story. He pitched all three extra innings, which means he had to deal with the ghost runner all three times. He did give up two of those ghost runners coming in to score. Those were both on wild pitches, but overall, I think Steen did a pretty good job. One player in the Huskies organization everyone's been looking forward to seeing is Ellie Kligman this season, but so far, a little bit of a slow start. He won't be seeing the field today. Yeah, and the Huskies still have a lot of faith in this guy. He's hitting 105 right now. He's two for 19. I mean, but he was offered a pro contract by the Nationals. Anyone who gets offered a pro contract obviously has credentials. He's going to be taking the next two days off because he's an Orthodox Jew. He doesn't play on Friday nights or on Saturday, so hopefully this break will be good for him and he'll come back and be ready to go. All right, let's take a look at our pitching matchups tonight. For the Huskies, it's going to be Isaac Seacosh in his second appearance. And for the Stingers, it's going to be John Klein, also his second appearance. Yeah, Seacosh was one of the lone bright spots for the Huskies in game one of the season on opening day. He went three innings pitch in relief. He struck out five, gave up no runs. So he's going to try and capitalize on that today. And then John Klein, he struggled in his first start for Wilmer against Rochester. He went out there and gave up four runs in three innings, had some hard time with Walker. So he'll be definitely coming out here trying to uh, pitch a better game in this one. Yeah, absolutely. The Stingers and the Huskies last year split their season series at four apiece. They're both looking for their second win tonight. Don't go anywhere. First pitch is next. You're watching the Northwoods League Baseball Network. 